Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a LR... What is his name? Oh my god. Uh, Shenron. Um, Dragon Balls. Oh my god. Crazy brain fart. Uh, but before I go ahead and read um, Call Me Jake's card, uh, send me custom cards over to VHF custom cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card or easy A concept as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards or easy A concepts out of the way. So, um, Jake, if you don't mind me um, calling you Jake, it says Call Me Jake. I mean, it just makes sense in the name. So Jake says, uh, hi, you reviewed my old rework of a physical Deku. I do remember that. I do remember that. That is inside my custom car review playlist. Physical Deku on Dokfan a while back. Might as well send you the whole catalog, which he did. Go ahead and look through here at whatever piques your interest. Jake, thank you for sending in your whole catalog bro i got people sending me whole catalogs from the doke fan wiki you guys really fuck with me you guys like me man <laughs> so this is his entire catalog the first unit i'm not gonna lie to you guys the first unit i saw was the Shenron, and we're talking about the Shenron, because as I was, like, scrolling, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't completely scroll down and check out every, uh, card, like, Shenron was the first thing my eyes looked at, other than Tapion, but Shenron, immediately, uh, so, um, yeah, with that being said, I saw, then I saw the Cell, then I saw Beast Gohan, then I saw the, who the hell is this? Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta. <laughs> okay, would you guys like to see a series on the doke fan wiki please let me know down below that i would not mind doing honestly because i love the format of okay i don't know why i pressed that that was my fault i already have it pulled up on this page so it don't really make sense that i open up a second one um i already uh what was i even saying i don't even remember i lost my train of thought um oh that's what I, okay i remember what i was saying okay so i really enjoy talking about cards on the Dokkan wiki kind of a style of a, of a wiki page. I love talking about cards like this um, rather than a card like this. Spoiler alert, this is a today's video, um, but, well, the second video, but I just, I don't, ugh, it's, I'm too used to reading this. I'm too used to reading it like this, which is why I like it like this, rather than it looking like this. This is going to be the video that comes today, by the way. I'm not sure if I did a unit review on this guy, but hey, we're going to get it out the way regardless, because he's next up on the chopping block. So, um, Shenron, um, this, Jake, you, you killed it. You killed it, you killed it, you killed it. Just, wow. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a, uh, start a series on Doke Fan Wiki, uh, unit reviews. I, I'm completely for it. My only thing is, is that, honestly, guys, three videos a day, that is taxing. If I was to start that, I would definitely have to do that on a weekend so I could have like a, you know, the time to do it, you know? It'd have to be like on the weekend. Yeah, it'd have to be either Friday, Saturday uploads because I do two videos and then I upload another one later on. I'd have to figure it out. But let me know if you guys want to see it. I'm all for it. I'm completely all for it. So, Shenron, um, what do we have here? This is cool because his typing is rainbow. This is so dope. And I noticed, is this LR Bulma's? Um, is this LR Bulma's uh, background? That might be. Um, yeah. Let me just real quick see something. That's Bulma's background. That might be the thumbnail for today's video because I went ahead and just grabbed some random ass uh, Shenron PNG without just remembering that Bulma herself just has Shenron in the background. Um, yeah, this might be it. Oh, or I could use uh, DKP because doesn't DKP have Shenron in the background too? That would make a sick thumbnail. Why am I just now thinking about this? Um, so yeah, this should be Bulma's background just without Bulma. It should be. Dogon Wiki, please. Um, it is. Yeah. It is. Okay. All right, dope. Um, I, yeah, I'm going to probably steal this for today's thumbnail. 
<laughs> so um, let's see what we got here so uh the leader skill um for the eternal dragon of legend shenron just dope that he his typing is rainbow never seen this before this is so unique to me uh leader skill is power of wishes three key and 200 across the board makes sense considering the fact that it's shenron or all types four key and 170 percent across the board that is a very powerful leader skill um does not super attack makes sense and his passive ageless timeless adventure activates the interest animation once only and 77 percent damage reduction for seven turns from the start of turn strong unable to attack of course 400 percent defense just baseline nice seven percent defense per keyser obtained good and he's also a unrestricted rainbow orb changer and he gives all allies seven key and seven percent attack and defense and additional three key and 17 percent attack and defense for dragon ball seekers or power of wishes category allies nice and he has a baseline 50 percent chance to dodge do keep in mind guys he has 77 percent damage reduction so 77 percent damage reduction with a 50 percent chance to dodge while getting defense for keys obtained creating his own rainbow orbs being a solid support type unit all right uh, an additional 17% defense within the same turn with each attack dodged. Okay. So he builds up defense within the same turn when dodging. Very nice. He guards all attacks starting from the 8th turn. So he loses his damage reduction on the 8th turn and gets guard from the 8th turn onward. Nice. And he gets 77, recovers 77% of damage received as HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. Okay. So you're just going to recover basically your entire fucking hp bar just off of that strength there alone and recovers with 77 percent hp recovered when uh, an ally attack in the same turn is ko'd once only okay so he just has a revive just free and easy just turn one and all allies get seven percent damage reduction a seven percent chance of crit after a character's or an ally's revival skill is propped wait no that that's for that's when an ally scale yeah Wow, so you just have to free revive when you're on the turn. This this Shenron's so strong. So basically not for himself because he literally cannot be killed at all. I mean, 77% damage reduction. Um take a look at this from a bigger picture. So he has a revival for everyone on a rotation besides himself. So you you pretty much have a free revive on the entire rotation. So free revive and if one of the characters on your rotation dies he gives uh, the entire rotation seven percent chance to crit as well as seven percent damage reduction basically from the rest of the battle after revival skills activated for uh the, the, the ally that got ko'd right so um very strong support right both from the ends of where this card is giving support right over here as well as seven percent damage reduction and a seven percent chance of grit that support also being a combined this is ridiculous by the way the fact that he's giving seven key that yo lrs are eating off of this guy if you are an lr this is just doing so much wonders for you and if you are a imagine you are a dragon ball seekers power of wishes character you're getting 10 key and what's that 20 what's that it's 23 percent attack and defense yeah, but more so the key is going to be better than what he's providing for the attack and defensive buff. He's only giving 24%. No, it's 23. Yeah. No, that's 24. I did the math incorrectly. Yeah. He's giving 24% attack and defense as well as 10 key if you're a Dragon Ball Seekers or a Power of Wishes character as well as his all allies buff. So um, he's giving great key support, but his, uh, his attack and defensive support, I feel like it's made up from where he's just giving the entire rotation damage reduction starting from the turn of which the, the revival skill is activated. So a free revival skill just for when your allies are on turn. So he protects the entire turn until, of course, an ally is KO'd and you just recover HP, gives damage reduction and crit chance support. Um, he also recovers HP each time uh, he takes damage from damage received. Uh, what's that? Guard from the 8th turn onward. So after he loses 77% damage reduction, he gets that guard. Uh, what's that? Builds up defense each time he dodges. Has a baseline 50% chance to dodge. 77% damage reduction for the first 7 turns. 400% defense. 7% defense per key sphere obtained. Creates his own rainbow orbs. Great key support, but not so great attack and defensive support. I feel like that's the only issue with this card. Um, is its support for its attack and defense. But even with that being said, um, is that fine? That is fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's completely fine. Yeah, that'd be the only thing I'd point out about this card is that this card is not giving great attack and defensive support. But I feel like this card giving 10 key, it, that's completely okay. This card is not getting, giving a lot of attack and defensive support. So 
you guys pretty much can see why this card is very good. Just slot one goat. Just greatness personified. Now for longer fights, I think this card is probably still good. Still is going to have guard with a 50% chance to dodge defense for Keyster Obtain, creating rainbow orbs. Um, yeah, this card is going to be A-OK. -okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I do love the fact that this card is protecting the entire rotation. I, I love that. Just, and this is like a rotation protection from turn one onward. Bro, this is, this is a W card. I love the unique design. I love the typing for Shenron because it just makes a whole lot of sense. Leader skill makes so much sense. Him not super attacking makes a lot of sense. And his active skill, we didn't even get to his active skill. Grants immunity to negative effects for three whole turns. You cannot lock us. You cannot seal us. Like, what? <laughs> Fully recovers HP and all allies get 70% attack and defense and 7% damage reduction to 7% chance to compress the back. <laughs> You guys remember what I said about this card giving only 24% attack and defense right over here from its all allies buff as well as its power of wishes and dragon ball seekers buff just combined throw that shit out the window because oh wait can wait, wait let's see the activation condition before I start talking crazy uh can be activated with seven or more rainbow keysters obtained start from the seventh turn from start about okay okay that makes a whole lot of sense okay okay so he's good for long content this is crazy 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 take the faith trios support within those turns and just nuke it onto an active skill and this is what you have for the shenron so in total granted you do get your revival skill off uh he's giving what's that let's just add all that up granted you're on the right you're on every right uh condition for this card for this activate so um that's 10 key and uh, 24 percent attack and defense right as well as a seven percent chance to crit and seven percent damage reduction so you add that on top of this right over here so uh that's okay let's do quick math uh so that's 14 percent damage reduction as well as a 14 percent chance to crit for the rest of the battle um on basically because your characters are gonna keep coming back on rotations so that's obviously very strong of course that's the rest of the but still that's very good so a 14 percent chance to crit and 14 percent damage reduction as well as 10 key and 94 percent attack and defense 10 key 94 percent attack and defense and 14 percent damage reduction a 14 percent chance to crit meanwhile high damage reduction High amount of defense, defense per keys are obtained, rainbow orb changing, uh, 50% chance to dodge unrestricted, defense within the same turn when dodging, guard from the eighth turn onward, and do keep in mind when you are on the eighth turn, you pop that crazy ass active skill, what I just basically added up. Um, also, recovering HP from damage received within the same turn, uh, having a revival skill for the entire rotation, uh, other than himself, of course, and that is it. <laughs> Jake. <laughs> All right, that's that's about it. Um, so link set, godly power, power bestowed by God over in the flash makes sense over in the flash because you get your wish done over in the flash, right? Guy of the Dragon Balls, the Incredible Adventure, Shattering Limit, Legendary Power makes sense. Shattering Limit, free to play LR? No, no, no. He just wakes up story event medals. Shh. Shh. No. So, Realm of Gods, Dragon Ball Saga, Earthlings, Saviors, Connected Hope, Heavenly Events, uh, Time Limit, Legendary Existence, uh, Earthbred Fighters, and Power of Wishes. Um, you forgot to put them on Jake's units. Yeah. Jake, I can't let you get away with this one. And look at that defensive stuff. And you can purchase them with 500 Carnival Coins. Okay. Uh, Jake... Beautifully designed card, very unique, very unique typing. I love it. I love this card. I, I like it a lot. And one of the reasons I really like this card is because this typing just jumped off the page to me. It just may, it may seem very small, but this is what caught my eye first when I looked at that page, other than the Tapion, obviously, because of course you see the leader first usually. But yeah, that's about it. Um, Jake, beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful, magnifico. I am very impressed. I love it. I love it. Now I'm an offense guy. 
This is coming from a person who loves offense guy. I like big damage, big unga booga damage. We love that. We love that around here. We love additionals, crits, all that. Uh, but I will acknowledge that a unit like this would be crazy busted in today's meta. Crazy busted. Why do you think this card is coming out April 1st of 2019? No, 2019. Huh. April 1st of 2030. I thought 2019. Imagine this was a 2019. <laughs> Okay, um, send me custom cards or EZA concepts over to BHDev custom cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card or EZA concept as soon as possible. While I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out of the way, I'm just scratching the surface, bro. Bro, is that, is that Gojo versus Sukuna? I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next week. I absolutely love you all. Join the 24-7 Discord server. The link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. You guys can feel free to at me in the server, by the way. People do it not all the time, but every now and then. Feel free to at me in the server. You want to ask me any questions, I'm always open inside the server. Uh, but yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and that is all. Jake, bro. bro. <laughs> Peace.